Hi everyone, in this demonstration, uh, I'll be showing you how to set up the circuit on your breadboard. Uh, so we have this, um, we have the schematic already drawn, and we're pretty much trying to uh, build the circuit on the breadboard. Uh, but uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, that everything is uh, first drawn on our paper, and that we have everything. We have the schematic, we have the legend, everything is numbered, and then we can go ahead and build the um, the circuit here. Uh, as you can see that uh, this uh, here, uh, right here, I should say that this is, this side is A, then this side is A bar. Um, you can see that we got an inverter, uh, we got a logic source. Uh, the output of the logic source is um, being connected to the input of this inverter. And the inverter that we're using is the 7, 4, HC04 and I'll explain how to um, I'll explain how to um, find out which pin is which which one is the input which one is the output uh, how to connect the VCC how to connect the grand, ground I'll explain that I'll explain everything I uh, just wanted to show you the circuit this is how the circuit looks like and uh, what we need to do is we want to make sure that our schematic is complete um, you can tell that uh, let me just use a green color here I have labeled the positive 5 volts, I have labeled which resistors I'm using, the value for the resistor, and also my pin numbers for the switch is already labeled correctly, ground, as well as this is the pin number for the um, for the inverter, for the 74804 inverter, and I have named which inverter that I'm using, um, so you'll be pretty much identifying because there's multiple inverters in 74804, 748C04. Uh, so you want to make sure that you label that. And then I've also labeled um, R2 with the value of the resistor. And this is our LED that we'll be using. Uh, I'm using a yellow LED. Um, and then this one is the ground. So this is our schematic. Um, we want to make sure that these things are labeled, 1 and 2. So 1 is the input and 2 is the output. And then um, the legend should look like something like this. So if the IC is 74804, we would write down U1. VCC for the IC would be 14. Ground for the IC would be pin number 7. And then these are the unused um, inputs that will either be connected to ground or connected to VCC. Uh, you'll see that U1B, U1C, and this is um, u one let me just make sure that I'm consistent. This is U1D, U1E, and then U1F. Uh, so this is showing all the inputs are being connected to VCC, and some of the inputs are being connected to ground. So you either you connect them to um, ground, or you connect them to VCC. So any unused inputs should either be connected to positive 5 volts or ground. Okay? So this is only applying this, uh, the inputs being uh, connected to ground and VCC, it only applies to the inputs, not outputs. So make a note of this. You can see the outputs are not connected to anything. So this is our schematic. Um, let me just go ahead and show you how these ICs actually look like. So this is the IC that we're looking at. And this is the 74HC04. And how do we know that it's 74HC04? It's imprinted on the uh, on the IC itself, so you can tell that right here it says 74HC04. And if we're holding the IC like this, and if I just place it down on this, you'll see that this notch here is pretty much this right there. So uh, this IC's got 14 pins, and then uh, two of these pins are one of the pins is uh, VC for VCC and the other one is for ground. Uh, we can tell that this very, uh, so pin number, so we start uh, numbering the pins from this end here. We go one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, and then it goes eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Pin number seven is connected to ground. So we can see that this pin here is connected to ground. And then pin number 14, which is this one here, is going to be connected to VCC. The rest of the pins will need to connect them to uh, the inputs. We would any unused um, uh, inverters that we're not going to be using. 
uh, that would have to be connected to, uh, the inputs would have to be connected to VCC or um, connected to ground. So that's with that. And then we can see that for this schematic, uh, for, this, uh, for this demonstration we'll be using, in this schematic you'll see it says U1A. So technically this U1A would be uh, this one right here that we will be using, okay? So then every other thing should be connected to ground or connected to VCC. Mm -hmm just to make sure that the unused pens are tied to either VCC or ground. So we're gonna be connecting this side to positive five volts and then this side to ground. Or you can just connect all of them to five volts or ground, whichever you want. So we're gonna name this U1A, this other one gonna be U1B, and this one is gonna be U1C. Um, if I go back to the schematic here, you'll notice that I have uh, showing all the unused um, uh, unused ones. So these, these are the unused uh, inputs that are labeled 3, 5, 9, 11, 13. If we go back and we check, and we will notice that these are, um, if I can erase this so this way, so 3, 5, 9, 11, and 13. So those are the unused inputs, okay? But in this demonstration, we'll be only using this. I will show you once again when I set it up on the breadboard how we're going to be using this, uh, what's how it's going to be. Okay, so um, we're also going to be using a non-inverting uh, logic source, a non-inverting logic source, and normally closed contact. Yeah, it's a normally closed contact. So this here, let me just click on this. So this here, it's a uh, normally closed and then um, it's a non-inverting uh, logic source. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna shift this a little bit to this side, so you still have that. And I'm gonna grab my uh, breadboard here. Uh, let's see if I can uh, fit everything. Or maybe I should put this on the side here, like this. You should still be able to see the circuit. I'm just gonna make it smaller. And you should even be able to see the uh, breadboard as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, so my switch is already set up. So I have set up my switch in a way that I'm only going to be using switch A, the non-inverting one. And um, I have connected the resistor, a one kilo ohm resistor, one end to the positive five volt and the other end to the uh, to switch A. And we want to make sure that the commons are connected uh, for these switches. So I've connected all common for all the switches, but I, just for... Um, just for the sake of me not forgetting. Um, so you can do the same thing if you like. Okay. Obviously, I'm using a voltage uh, regulator to convert 9 volt to 5 volts. Um, and if you don't know how to set up the voltage regulator, you can check out my video that I made um, uh, in my channel here. Uh, you can check and see how that's uh, done, how you, how you set that up. Okay, so let's get uh, started on that. So we need the IC 7H4748C04. I see we need uh, one resistor, one kilo ohm resistor. You'll need a um, LED. So I'm using a yellow LED for this demonstration. And a couple of jumper wires that you'll need to um, show, well, connect the unused inputs as well as connect the VCC and ground for the 74804. So as I said earlier, uh, so how we're gonna place this on our breadboard, it goes in between uh, this valley here. So you cannot place it like this. It has to go like this. So we're going to place it on row um, 35, and then we're going to gently push this in. Once you push it in, it should be secured on the breadboard here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the um, connect the connect the VCC as well as the ground so we're going to connect pin number seven to ground and pin number 14 to vcc so i'm going to grab a black wire here black jumper wire and then i'm going to connect that to my negative so pin number seven okay and i'm going to do the same thing for uh, number 14 but it's going to be connected to positive five volts okay so i'm going to do that Okay, now that I have connected that, I'm going to go ahead and connect any unused inputs. So I have pin number three, which is 
one, two, three. That's going to be connected to five volts. Pin number um, five is going to be connected to unused. It's unused, so I want to make sure that I connect that to um, five volts. And then pin number nine is another one. So again, this is the input. So I'm going to find out this is eight. This is eight. And this one is nine. Sorry, sometimes I go out of the frame there because I'm not. Okay, there you go. And then that's pin number nine. And then pin number 11 is also going to be connected to VCC. And then the last one is pin number 13, which is closest to the VCC. So now that I have connected all my unused inputs, now I can go ahead and um, do the rest of the um, setup here, uh, my circuit here. So uh, I already connected my uh, switch. So you'll notice that pin number 14, which is on this side, is connected to a resistor and then connected to five volts as shown here. Pin number 13, which is right here, here, C1, is connected to ground. And then pin number one, nothing is connected to it, so I left it alone. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna connect the input of U1A, which is this one here, right? We're gonna connect the input of that to the output of this logic source. So I'm gonna grab my wire here, my jumper wire, and then I'm going to, let me just move this. So I'm going to connect this to this row 15 here. So I'm gonna go really quickly. So I have some strand, some of my wires are stranded, so I have to make sure that it goes in properly. Okay. Okay, so that went in. And then I want to connect this to pin number one because this is my input of of U1A. So I'm going to connect it to pin number one. And, and you'll notice that now I have connected. Uh, let me just grab my pen here. Now I have connected um, this point here. Maybe that's not a good color to use. Let me just go ahead and grab my highlighter here. Okay, I'll just get a pen here. Just use this blue. So now I'm going to be, I've connected this point to this point here, as shown here. Pin number one is connected to the output, uh, uh, output logic, um, output source here. It's been connected here. This is my switch A. So that's the um, output for the logic source. Okay. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the output to the resistor to my R2. So I'm going to grab this resistor. And I'm going to set it up right here. So I'm going to set it up. One end is going to go to row 55. And the other end will go into row 55 on the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my LED. But before I connect the output, I want to connect my LED. So I'm going to connect this side here. So I'm going to grab my LED. And I want to make sure that I'm connecting the right side of the LED to uh, this. So I'm gonna go ahead and check to see, and then I'm gonna connect the common um, cathode, should be connected to negative, and then common anode should be connected to this side of the um, resistor here. So I'm gonna, one end is gonna go into the row 55, and the other end is gonna go to uh, the negative rail. Okay, all right, so now that I have done that, now I can go ahead and connect my um, output. So this, that's pin number two, as shown here. So I'm gonna look at it, find pin number two. So I'm gonna count one, two. So one, two. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna put one end in row number two. And then the other end will go into row number 55. So in this part of the video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing to see if this is actually working. Uh, so we built this uh, circuit here on our breadboard. We're using switch A and then we're using an inverter. And then we've labeled our inverter which inputs we're using. We're using input 1 and output 2. And then we have a resistor and we have an LED, which is a common, um, yeah, which the LED is, uh, we want to make sure that the uh, output we're using a common cathode LED as a logic indicator. So as you can see here, it's shown here. 
So this is all set up on our breadboard and now we can go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the um, power supply here. And if everything is correct, if we're giving, if everything is correct, if, um, if, if, uh, if everything is correct, we should be getting uh, the LED turning on when the handle is down. So when the handle is down, the LED is turning on, but when the handle is up, the LED should be turning off. So you can see that is happening. So what's happening is we're getting, when the handle is down, we're getting a zero. But what's going on with this inverter, it changes to a one, and then it's causing this to uh, the LED to turn on. So again, we're, we're using this switch here. So when I flick the switch, in the up position, the LED is off. In the down position, the LED is on. And that's pretty much how you set up a basic um, circuit like this with, a, um, with this gate here.